Sometimes we wish the firefighters on screen could put out our fire. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 hottest firefighters in movies and TV. No pun intended. Okay, pun slightly intended. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at some of the most attractive characters to play real firefighters on the big or small screens. So sorry, Joe Manganiello, you don't make it this time around. Number 10, Nick Carina. I do, but I don't. Let me guess. The, uh... The girl fell head over heels. In this rom-com, a wedding planner played by Denise Richards receives an assignment that puts her directly in contact with the hunky groom-to-be, a firefighter that she first sees while in the middle of a rescue. As if that's not dashing enough, he's muscular, he's funny, and he's got a winning smile. Guess I better go. <laughs> Duty calls. Yeah, me too. Yes, the same man who played the gorgeous Man of Steel himself in 1993's Lois and Clark The New Adventures of Superman plays the more average but equally dazzling hero in this charming made-for-TV movie that'll make you fall head over heels for Kane's studly character. Are you gonna answer that? Absolutely not. Number 9, Kev Allison, The Smoke. Your eyes open for me. I know I'm an ugly bastard, but there's no need to rub it in. Being tall, dark, and handsome definitely didn't hurt this TV firefighter. And once you throw in the accent, we were completely sold on this dreamboat in the British drama that agonizingly ended after only one season. The show features eight episodes of heart-pounding adventures that follow an elite group of London firefighters known as White Watch. Played by Jamie Bamber, who also captured our hearts as Leah Dama in 2003's Battlestar Galactica, the smoke features him as a good guy who must fight fires, bad guys, and betrayal, all while looking devastatingly cool. What is the difference between a senior officer and a firefighter? All right, come on. About 40 grand. Number 8, Fire Marshal Jordan Warsaw, 15 minutes. You want headlines? You want to make money? You want to be a celebrity? Shoot me! Although the reviews for this crime thriller are generally considered unfavorable, our reviews for Edward Burns' hotness factor is two thumbs way up. Playing a fire marshal and arson investigator, who must team up with a detective played by Robert De Niro, the film follows the pair in their mission to stop a pair of maniacal killers. Hey, come on, I'm a professional, right? <laughs> While we can't vouch for the story, the dashing star of many a rom-com, including 1996's She's the One and 2002's Life or Something Like It, keeps our interest in this German-American film turned up to maximum. Fire department. Man, firemen don't carry no damn guns. Oh, yeah, guess again. I'm an arson investigator. Number 7, Lieutenant Steve Bull McCaffrey, Backdraft. You go. We go. It's always hard choosing between one firefighting looker and another, especially when the other choice is William Baldwin's Brian McCaffrey in this drama thriller. But the heat is just a little higher with our favorite in this film, Kurt Russell. The only problem is in this job, there's just no place to hide. Maybe it's the piercing eyes, the rugged masculine features, or the willingness to lunge headlong into a fiery inferno. But whatever the reason, this star of 1981's Escape from New York and 1987's Overboard always gets us going, and never more than as the self-sacrificing protagonist of this award-nominated flick. Look at him! That's my brother, goddammit! Number 6, Franco Rivera, Rescue Me. I mean, after all these years as a firefighter, what else would you want to do but stare into a box full of ashes and bone fragments? With so many good-looking head-turners in this American television series, it was hard to pick who to go with. Although Stephen Pasquale's Sean Leslie Garrity always makes our pulse quicken, when indulging in this comedy drama that follows the lives of a team of New York firefighters, Daniel Sanjata downright makes our jaws drop. Ay, mami, dame ese rabo. His muscular frame, dreamy eyes, and pouty lips all make it hard to resist this actor that has since dabbled in video games, film, and theater, but nowhere as noticeably as 2013's TV drama Graceland. Here's hoping we see him more often in the coming years. Now well, you're looking good. So do you. You look good, too. Number five, Matthew Casey, Chicago Fire. Great electric cord that started this. This would have burned to the ground if not for this man. If you're onto the strong, silent type, then nothing will delight you like the stunner known as Lieutenant Matthew Casey in this action drama TV series. In charge of Truck 81, Casey, played by Jesse Spencer, is a fiercely loyal and caring crew leader who also doubles as a handyman and a carpenter. 
seriously, could this hunk of a man get any manlier? We need to pull back. It's gonna give. Luckily for us, the blue-eyed Australian Jesse Spencer has been in theater, music videos, film, and television for some time now. Most notably in the soap opera Neighbors, for which he won a Silver Logie Award. You don't sound too enthusiastic. I am. I'm enthusiastic. I'm just saving energy. Number four, Tommy Corn, I Heart Huckabees. I wanted to share the force with you and you ruined it. You fell in love. Although it's true that we don't spend much of this film watching Wahlberg in action as anti-petroleum firefighter Tommy Corn, come on, it's Mark Wahlberg. A philosophical film that routinely dabbles in comedy, pathos, and existentialism, this movie is a change of pace for the mainstream comedy and action flicks we're used to seeing Wahlberg in. But his breathtaking looks are just as sizzling. But it's also nothing special. True, his rockin' bod is more displayed in films like 2013's Pain and Game, and even 1996's Fear. But Wahlberg with messy hair and a beard? Please, sir, we want some more. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. I, I thought we were going to talk about patrolling. Number three, Kelly Severide, Chicago Fire. Well, welcome aboard. Okay, we've been trying to keep it fair by picking only one firefighter from each TV show and movie, but when it comes to Chicago Fire, we couldn't hold back from also choosing the incomparable, breathtaking Taylor Kinney. You kidding me? The lieutenant opposite Matthew Casey at Firehouse 51, Severide is a charmer who is well known on the show to have a way with the ladies. It isn't hard to see why. As chiseled actor Taylor Kinney began his career as a model and has since starred in several movies and TV shows. He's also swept well-known ladies like Lady Gaga off their feet. It's your city now. It's pretty great, huh? Number two, Tommy Drake, Ladder 49. Why don't you use your head? You're used to it. Although he takes this spot as a supporting character under acting heavyweights like John Travolta and Joaquin Phoenix, Morris Chestnut plays the man we can't take our eyes off of in this drama based on the hard work and heroics of a group of Baltimore firefighters. Having made his debut in 1991's Boys in the Hood, this African-American actor quickly stole the show in many a film to come, with characters often combining head-turning physical attributes with intelligence and sensitivity. However, seeing him in a firefighting outfit alone makes us want to swipe right without a second thought. Tommy, get the door! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You never leave your partner, especially in a fire. Heads up! Let's do it! Vince is a fireman. Wow! Have you ever rescued anyone from a burning building before? 98 hot saves. Oh. Highest on the force. Well, you know, if Joey and I play with matches, we could get you up to an even hundred. <laughs> Number one, James Jimmy Doherty. Third watch. You there, guys? Jerry's cooking. While ranking the screen's hottest guys, posing as characters in the world's hottest profession isn't the easiest job. We feel confident placing knockout Eddie Cibrian from this beloved crime drama show in first place. Who better to fill the top spot than this American with Cuban descent? Consistently placed in films and TV shows as the hottie with killer eyes, rugged face, smoke and bod, and a dimpled smile that makes us melt inside. I missed your birthday last month, so. Keep an eye out for this stud in Tyler Perry Productions. But in the meantime, if you're looking for a hot show to watch with the girls on ladies' night, this is the show. And this is your guy. You agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.